Well, welcome to another encounter here at Imseni on a Sunday night. I hope you are well, friends, and I hope that you know that God is with you right now and that he's close to you. I wonder if you have felt this way in your life, or if you felt lately that God's far, that he's distant from you, that you can't quite reach him. Last week we spoke about how God is infinite, how he is great and beyond our wildest imaginations. And I think one of the problems with talking like that is that we can think that God is is removed from our lives. He's, he's so far and so big that he would never worry about you and I. And that's totally untrue. Remember that, that silly old song, God is watching us from a distance? I hate that song. I wish that we could go and erase that song from history because it's absolutely false. God is not watching us from a distance. God is near. He is close by. We've been working through this book by Anne Spangler called Praying the Attributes of God. And today we're going to talk about how God is closer than you think. He is near. He is near. And so thank you for joining. And wherever you're joining from, know that he's near. I'd love for you to say hello in the comments, by the way, just to connect with us so I can see who you are and say hi back. I don't know where you're joining from. It's, it looks like a lot of people who aren't part of him senior are joining, and that's great. Be blessed, and just thank you for coming and being a part of these sessions. And the reason that I originally called these Sunday night services Encounter was because I wanted you to get a sense as you worship with me in this time that God is near and that you can encounter him where he is. So here's a quote from Anne Spangler's book to kick us off tonight. She shares this quote from A.W. Tozer, the great preacher, who said, God is near to everything and everyone. He is here. He is next to you wherever you may be. And if you send up the furious question, oh God, where are you? The answer comes back, I am where you are. I am here. I am next to you. I am close to everywhere. Isn't that a cool phrase? God is close to everywhere. So wherever you are, wherever you go this week, God is going to be close. You can count on that. In fact, here at Imseni, we often say that this place is a place of grace because that's what the name Imseni means. And in lockdown, we've had to learn that wherever we are is a place of grace because God is with us. And so do you know today that wherever you're watching from, God is there. God is right next to you. He is close to everywhere. I want to sing a song that was written by my friend Rich, and really it's supposed to be an electric guitar, loud drums, supposed to be a real rocker. And so I'm going to put the link to the, the proper version of the song below so that you can enjoy it. But I'm going to sing a, a kind of a tame version on the piano. But look at the words, and I hope that this is going to remind you today that God is always there. When the wind is blowing I can feel it on my skin I just can't see it, that's all Just like your love that surrounds me I can feel it in my heart I can't explain it, that's all When the clouds block the sun I know that it's still there I just can't see it, that's all When it feels like you're nowhere to be found You are closer than ever before You're always there When you see me falling you're always there You pick me up again You're always there When you hear me calling You're always there When I need a friend
When my troubles seem to get the upper hand You are always there for me When it feels like the world has won again I remember Calgary You're always there When you see me falling You're always there You pick me up again You're always there When you hear me calling You're always there When I need a friend The ways of this world Keep getting in the way Why do I always doubt The promises you make You're always there When you see me falling You're always there You pick me up again You're always there hear me calling you're always there when I need a friend you're always there when you see me falling you're Pick me up again You're always there When you hear me calling You're always there When I need a friend You're always there Your promises abound me You're always there I'll never be alone You're always there You'll always be with me You're always there Everywhere I go Everywhere you go, he's always there. When you need a friend, when you fall, when, you, when you're calling out, when you're in a good place, when you're in a bad place, he's always there. Do you believe this today? I love what Rich said in that song when he said, when the clouds block the sun, I know that it's still there. I just can't see it. That's all. When it feels like you're nowhere to be found, you are closer than ever before. I think for many of us, we know this in theory. We know that God's always near. And yet in reality, we, we don't really experience it. I think for many of us, we feel like the psalmist who wrote this in Psalm 10. Oh Lord, why do you stand so far away? Why do you hide when I am in trouble? How about you tonight? Do you feel like God has hidden himself from you? Like he's nowhere to be found? I like this illustration from Anne Spangler in the book. She said, maybe God hides to increase our hunger for his presence. And then she shares the story from Jerry Sitzer about playing hide and seek with his kids. He said, I was always better at hiding than my kids were, but I always gave them little hints, like little squeaks or hoots to help them find me. And when they discovered my whereabouts, they would squeal with delight because they loved to find me. I never once wanted to hide so well that they would never find me because the joy came in being found, not in the hiding. So God is here. God is close to you. God is close to everywhere. Sometimes we need to seek him. Sometimes maybe he just doesn't make it that obvious where he is because seeking him is what we're designed to do. And if he was just obviously in our presence, we'd stop seeking him.
Maybe that's what's happened, in fact, is we've stopped seeking him. And when we don't seek him, there's not that great joy in finding him like a game of hide and seek. Now, the man who wrote this next song, Kelly Carpenter, he spoke about how he was so busy doing ministry in his church that he at some point realized that he hadn't felt God's presence in such a long time. He'd been busy working, busy working. And even though he was busy working for God, he'd lost that sense of closeness. And he talks about how one day after worship, after Sunday worship, going home, sitting down at his piano and just feeling empty, far from God. And he sat down and he started to play and the song came out. And may it be your prayer today as well as we sing it together now. close to you never let me go I lay it all down again to hear you say that I'm your friend are my desire no one else will do cause nothing else can take your place to feel the warmth of your embrace Help me find the way, bring me back to you. You're all I want. You're all me 
help me know you are near. Help me know you are near. And so is that your prayer today? Draw me close to you, Lord. Help me know that you are near. Help me to experience it. Help me to feel it. Help me to believe it. Help me to sense it in a real way. Draw me close. Never let me go, Lord. I hope that's your prayer as you watch this. And every day, I hope that's your prayer. When I think about God's closeness, I think about a couple of pictures. Maybe you want to hold on to one of these pictures as we leave tonight. When I think of God's closeness, I think first of all of God holding me in his hands. In my weakest moments, when I have no energy, when I have no strength, when I'm just finished. God holds me in his hands when I'm sick, when I'm tired, when I'm weary. Remember that old song, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, you and me, sister, in his hands. Maybe you need to just think about that for a moment and realize that God holds you in his hands. That when you need him the most, he's there to hold you tight so that you can rest in him. That when you're at your most vulnerable and you're, you're in your deepest need, he's there to hold you. And I know many of you watching are sick are struggling or you've you've got somebody in your family who's sick I know many of you are grieving picture it today that God is holding you in his hands holding you close picture this safe place that you're in safe and secure in his hands the other picture that I have is of God with his arms around my shoulders in fact I find this is more this is more how it happens for me in everyday life. God doesn't just pick me up and walk for me. He doesn't just uh, do all the work for me. No, God often finds me sitting on the floor in a tough place, struggling along. And he sits with me and he puts his arms on my, or his hands on my shoulders, or his arms around my shoulder. And he says, come my child, stand up. Let's walk together. I'm with you. I'm with you. Maybe you need that picture as you walk into your week. Maybe you've got a hectic week ahead of you with lots on the go. Maybe you need to realize that God is not going to do everything for you. But as you go and do it, his strength is going to be available to you because he's right there. He's going to have his arm around your shoulder and he's going to be helping you along. Jesus said it as he ended his ministry. Matthew 28, right before he ascended, he said to the disciples these great words, which we can hold on to today. I'm with you. I'm with you to the very end of the age. Do you know that today? Do you know that he is with you? I hope that this time has reminded you that God is close to everywhere. Wherever you go, he's going to have you in his hands or he's going to have his arm around you. And you can know that you're never alone. And so we're going to close with a song that's going to celebrate that. Sing it with me, would you? And may you be blessed this week. I'm so secure you're here with me. You stay the same. Your love remains here in my heart. So close, I believe. You're holding me now in your hand. I belong You'll never let me go So close I believe You're holding me now In your hands I belong You'll never let me go You 
And so, friends, come, let's pray as we close. Thank you, Lord, that we are so secure because we are with you. Thank you, Lord, that wherever we go this week, you will hold us close. Thank you that we can never go anywhere where you are not close. What assurance that gives us as we face the week ahead. Father, may we never have a moment this week where we feel alone. But may we always know that you are close. And may we always believe with all we've got that we serve a God who isn't at a distance, but we serve a God who loves us enough to come close. Fill us with your spirit now. Fill us with your peace. Fill us with your warmth. Fill us with your goodness. And remind us that every step of the way this week, you are going to be near. Thank you, Lord.